Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have an interesting question. We need to find our x and y. x cubed minus y cubed equal to 91. How can we do this? First of all, we have difference of cubes right here, so we can use the formula. What a formula? If we have a cube minus b cube, it will be equal to a minus b times parentheses a square plus a b and plus b square. So let's use this formula right here, but instead of a we will use x and instead of b we will use our y. So let's do this, let's write our formula. So we will have x minus y times parentheses x square plus xy plus y square equal to 91. Nothing hard, just use the formula difference of cubes. So as you can see right here we have two parentheses. And we need to write an multiplication sign right here and we will need we need to find our two numbers. So how can we get this 91? First of all, nothing hard, we need to multiply two numbers. First case, 1 times 91. We will have 91. So this is good case for us. Second case, how can we get this 91? If we multiply, of course, minus 1 times minus 91, we will have 91 as well. Third case, we will multiply 7 times 13. It will be equal to 91 as well. And the last case, fourth case, we will have minus 7 times minus 13. So we have two cases, we have four cases. It will be our first parentheses and it will be our second parentheses. So what we're going to do next? Of course, let's take a look right here. Right here, first first parentheses, we don't know about the sign of this parentheses. It can be negative, it can be positive, we don't know. Because x can be greater than y, then, then this parentheses will be greater than zero and y can be greater than x, then this parentheses will be less than zero. So we don't know about this first parentheses. Take a look right here. This parentheses will be positive, because x square plus y square will be positive as well, and doesn't matter this xy plus or minus sign, this will be positive as well. So this doesn't matter what, what a sign, it can be positive and negative, and this should be positive as well. So. We are interested only in four cases, because these parentheses cannot be negative value. So we are interested in this case, and we are interested in this case. We don't need this case with the minus, because these parentheses will be plus always. So what we are going to do next? Of course we will have four systems of equations. Let's start with the first case. So the first case. We will have 1 and 91, so this parenthesis will be our 1, x minus y equal to 1, and the second parenthesis, x square plus xy plus y square equal to 91. So this will be our first system of equations. So let's try to solve this. First of all, I see that right here it's really good to create a formula, but I don't have minus 2xy right here. How can we do this? First of all, I minus I write minus 2xy right here and plus 3xy. Then there's nothing change, of course, but we will create a formula right here. So let's do this. We will have x minus y, first equation equal to 1, and right here I write it as x square minus 2xy plus y square and plus 3xy equal to 91. Nothing higher, just use a little bit trick right here. So, what we're going to do next? Right here we will have our formula, x minus y square, and we just need to simplify this a little bit. Let's try to simplify. Okay, we will have x minus y equal to 1, and right here we will have a formula, x minus y square plus 3xy, of course, equal to 91. Nothing hard, just create a formula right here. What we're going to do next? We know that x minus y equal to 1. And let's put our 1 right here. We will have 1 square 1, 3xy equal to 
no, 91, but 90. We bring this one right here on the right. So we'll have 3xy equal to 90 and our xy equal to 30. So let's write these equations. We will have x minus y equal to 1 and our xy equal to 30. A classic system of equation because we just express our x from here and put this on in the second equation. So let's do this. We will have x x equal to 1 plus y and let's put our x right here in the second equation. So we will have 1 plus y times y equal to 30. Nothing hard, just open our parentheses right here and we'll have a quadratic equation. y square plus y minus 30 equal to 0. And from here our y first equal to minus 6 and our y second equal to 5. So we have our y first and our y second. And let's put our y right here and we will find our x. So from here our x first equal to minus 5 and our x second equal to 6. So we have two pairs of solution right here. So I write these pairs right here. So we will have our pairs. So this will be our answer. Our first pairs x first equal to minus 5 and y first equal to minus 6. And the second pairs x second equal to 6 and y second equal to 5. So this is our first pair of solution right here. This will be our second pair of solution. And of course, this will be our first case. We need to check the third case. And of course, we need to swap this because we can write this 91 as 91 times 1. And then we need to swap this 1 and 91, 91 right, right here and 1 right, right here. So, I'll check it before, I don't want to waste your time. If you swap these, so if you have the second case, if you write an equations x minus y equal to 91 and x square plus xy plus y square equal to 1, this system of equation does not have any solution. So, we don't need to solve this, but if you're interested, if you're interested in complex number, of course you can solve it. We will have two complex pairs of solution right here. So let's go to the third case. This will be our first case. We have this system of equation and this. This system of equation has two pairs of solution in real numbers, and this will have two pairs of solution in complex numbers. So if you're interested in this, of course you can solve it. But this don't have roots in real numbers. So let's go to the third case right here. We will have our third case. If this parent is equal to 7 and this equal to 13. So let's write our system. So x minus y equal to 7 and x square plus xy plus y square equal to 13. Nothing hard, just the same logic as right here. So, what we're going to do in our case? Just the same thing as right here. So, let's create a formula right here and, do, and write an equation with this y. So, let's write minus 2xy right here and plus 3xy right here. So, let's create a formula right here. I skip this step. I just want to write that this x minus y equal to 7 and, of course, our 3xy equal to minus 36. I just create a formula right here, put 7 and we will have our 48 and 13 minus 48 will be our minus 36. So right here we can divide it both side by 3 and we will have an interesting case. We will have that our x minus y equal to 7 and x y equal to minus 12. Interesting case because of course if the same case is right here we can express this x as 7 plus y so let's do this we will have x equal to 7 plus y 
and we will have in the second equation we will have 7 plus y times x times y equal to minus 12. Nice and hard, just the same logic as in first case. And we will have an interesting quadratic equation. We will have a quadratic equation x equal to 7 plus y. So we will have a quadratic equation. Let's multiply. We will have 7y, y square and minus 12. Let's change an order a little bit right here. And we will have a quadratic equation y square plus 7y plus 12 equal to 0. And let's solve this. Our y third and our y fourth will be equal to. Our y third will be equal to minus 3. I use a Vieta's theorem right here. And our y fourth will be minus 4. Let's put these roots right here and let's find our x. So x3 will be, if we put minus 3 right here, our x3 will be 4 and our x4 will be 3. Just put minus 4 right here. So we have two more pairs of solution. So let's write these pairs of solution right here. So our x3 equal to 4 and our y3 equal to minus 3. And x4 equal to 3 and y4 equal to minus 4. Really good. We find our four pairs of solution. And the last case, we need to swap these 7 and 13. Because 7 times 13 equal to 91 and 13 times 7, of course, equal to 91. But I don't want to waste your time. This is the same logic as in second, second case. We will have no roots in real numbers. So if you're interested in that, you can solve it and you will have two more complex pairs of solution. So our answer, two pairs of solution in real numbers. And, and if you're interested in complex number, of course, you can find four more pairs of solution in complex number. Just solve the second case and the first case. Really interesting question. I like it. If you like it as well, put thumbs up, write your comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Write your suggestion, write your question and see you in the next videos.